Welcome everyone to Easy Code Is, where you the users determine what features I will implement. So if there's something you want to learn when coding a website, leave a comment and I just might make a video about it. In this video, we are going to learn how to code up our very own loading overlay using um, HTML, CSS, and jQuery. What is a loading overlay and what does it look like? Hop over to our website. Easy code is. And at the bottom, I have put a demo link for our loader. It's going to last for three seconds. And when I click it, it's going to take over the screen, display a nice little loading GIF in the center, and then disappear after three seconds. No matter what size screen we have, it will always be in the center. So it's also responsive. Now, the nice thing about this loading overlay is it is one line of JavaScript. It's called show loader, and that's the function that we will be coding up one line to show it and one line of JavaScript to hide it. Let's start coding. The first thing we need to do is we need to include jQuery. In order to do that, we need to go online and get it. So I'm gonna search for Google hosted libraries and click on the first link right here that comes up. Right hand side here, we're going to find jQuery and click on it. And we want the most recent. We're gonna surrender to the 3.x. And I'm going to copy this URL and paste it in a new tab. And there it is. There's jQuery. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a JavaScript folder inside easy code is call it JS inside here. I'm going to create a jQuery .js file. So I have created my jQuery .js file. Now I'm going to copy this JavaScript and paste it right in that file. Save that file and we're done. We have saved our jQuery to a jQuery.js file on our local server. Now I do this because I don't like having to rely on external servers when I'm running my own website. This way we know we will always have jQuery available to us in our own JavaScript file. Now that we have jQuery in our code base, we can open up our index file and include that script. Right inside the uh, head section here and include jQuery. There we have it. jQuery has been included on our page and we can use it. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another CSS file and I'm gonna call it global CSS. This will be the CSS file we include on every page we create and we will put our loader styles inside of there. Hop back over to our CSS folder and create ourselves a global.js file. Open it with Sublime. Now, before we start coding up any of the loading styles and the HTML, I'm gonna pull out some of the styles from our home.css file that can also go into the global, such as the body. Since we want the body to look the same, you know, use the same font family on all the pages. We don't need that in the home CSS. We can bring that over to the global CSS file. And we're going to give it a little darker background. So pretty much any styles that we want to include across multiple pages, we will throw in our global CSS file. Now back on our index page, we're going to start creating our loader. For our loader, we need two divs. First div is going to be the div that is going to take over the whole screen and darken it. And this is what we're going to call our loading overlay. Copy this class right into our global.css file. So we got a loading overlay defined. Go to background, position fixed, and top zero means it will always be at the top left corner and it's going to be a width and height 100%. So if we head over to our local host, uh, have an error, our font is not loading. Oh, I think I need a semicolon right there. All right, good to go. So our loader should be in a DOM now. We see it right here, loading overlay, and I'm gonna remove the display none, and you see the whole screen is taken over. The next div we need 
is the actual little spinner. So our second div, loading overlay image container, and it contains our image. And you can hop out to Google and find, you know, any loading GIF you would like for your website and place it in the assets folder. So I'm gonna copy the loading GIF I downloaded into my assets folder, just like that. Now we just need to style it up. First thing we're gonna style is our loading overlay image container. So our loading overlay image container is gonna start out display none. Position fixed, just like our overlay, and we're going to give it a little higher Z index so it appears on top of our loading overlay up here, the background that takes over the whole screen. Top 50, left 50, and our translate will always position our little image in the very center of the screen. The class left to code up is our loading overlay IMG, and this we're just going to specify the width and height and the border radius of our actual GIF image. So we got a width and height of 50 pixels and we gave it a little border radius so the corners of the image are rounded. We're going to save that out and we're going to refresh our page. Site's still looking good. Now we should see our loading overlay image in the DOM along with our image right here. So if I hop over to the loading overlay image container and I uncheck the display none, there's our little loading GIF. And if I uncheck the display none on the loading overlay, screen should darken and the whole screen is now taken over and our loading GIF is always centered. All right, we have coded up the HTML and the CSS for our loading overlay. Now copying this HTML over to every page that we create is less than ideal, especially when it comes to updating into the future. I mean, maybe we have 100 pages. It would suck to have to go through all 100 pages and update our loading overlay in case we change the way it looks change the image in the future. So we're going to create a JavaScript object that does all of this for us. Enter jQuery. I'm gonna head back to the easy code is folder under the JS folder. And I'm gonna create another JavaScript file here called loader.js. And then I'm gonna open it. First thing we need to do is go to our index file and include loader.js. That way we will have access to it. Copy this jQuery script and paste it right here. This will be our uh, loader.js. There we go. Now we have included our loader.js file, which has absolutely nothing in it. So we're gonna set ourselves up with a JavaScript object here, and we're gonna call it loader. First thing we're going to do is create an initialize function. What this function is going to do is it's going to write out the HTML that we created right here to the DOM. I'm gonna copy that, and in this function, I'm gonna create a variable called HTML, and we're gonna paste our HTML right there. We need to modify this a little bit, so JavaScript uh, is happy. There we go. So now we have the HTML that we created on our index file as a JavaScript variable. Only thing left to do now is write that out. We do that with jQuery. So what this line does is it tells us to access the body element of our web page, this right here, the body tag, and it's going to append the HTML variable, which is our HTML. So back on our index.php file, we can remove this. And then we need to add an on page load where we call our initialize function. All right, so this is our on page load function. After the page loads, we want to call our loader variable dot, and then the function in our loader object that we want to call is initialize. So we simply do that on page load. Once the page loads, loader.initialize gets called. Our HTML variable here will be appended to the body. So our HTML will be written out to the DOM. Refresh our website. And we see our loading overlay and our loading overlay image container along with the image have all been appended to the DOM, to the body using JavaScript. Now all we have to do is create functions to show and hide our loader. So we're gonna hop back over to our loader.js file. We're gonna create another function in here called show loader. The show loader function, all we need to do is show our loading overlay and our loading overlay image container. And that's it. 
we are using jQuery to access our div up here, loading overlay, and display it along with our loading overlay image container. The last function is the hide loader, hide. All you have to do is switch show to hide. So now all you have to do in order to show the loading overlay is call loader.showloader. And to hide it, you have to call loader.hideloader. So let's go back to our index page and create our demo link. Place this in the footer down here. All right, so this is going to be the link that we click on. Show our loader for three seconds, and it's going to hide it by calling our show loader and hide loader functions. Let's make sure it is at the bottom of our page. There we go. Now let's clean that up a little bit. I don't like the look of that. Style it up a little bit here. We're styling up the loader, just giving it a color and a cursor pointer, and we're going to underline it on hover. Refresh our page, see if that works. There we go. Look at that. Oh, I don't like that still. It has this link needs to be the same. So this is an a tag. Let's give this a class. Let's just make this global a default so we can include this on all pages. There we go. Now our a tags look just like our loading overlay test link. Refresh our page, scroll down. Look at that. They look the same. Only problem is nothing happens when I click on the loading overlay test link. Have to code that back up in our index file. After we initialize our loader, we need to create the on click for our load test. To do that, we're going to reference our load test ID. We're going to do an on click function. All right, so we've just set up an on click function for our link at the bottom here, referenced by our ID load underscore test. When we click on it, we're going to do our loader dot show loader, which will show our loading overlay and our loading overlay image container. We're going to do a JavaScript set interval for 3000 milliseconds or three seconds. And then we're going to call our loader dot hide loader function, which will place a display none back on to our two divs that we just showed. Let's refresh our page here. We see in the inspect element, the JavaScript that we've created has written out our loading overlay and our loading lo overlay image container to the DOM. We scroll to the bottom of the page and we click on our link. They both display and after three seconds, they disappear. So we have successfully created our loading overlay using HTML, CSS, and jQuery. In order to include this on any future web pages, all we need to do is make sure we have our global CSS included, which has the styles for our loading overlay. We need to make sure we have jQuery. We need to make sure our loader.js file is also included. And then on page load, all we have to do is call loader.initialize, which writes out our loading overlay divs to the page. Now it writes them out as display none, so they are just sitting there waiting to be used, as we have seen on our home page. We go to the home page. And the loading overlays are just sitting there hidden waiting to be used until you click on the load test link, which then calls our show loader function for three seconds and then hides it. The nice thing about having this JavaScript object is now all we have to do if we want to modify our loader at any time is update our HTML right here in our loader.js file. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe down below. Leave a comment and let me know what you want to learn and see implemented next. Remember, easy code is, and I'll catch you later.